calling someone a fat, disgusting retard. No ticket, I give it to you, mongoloid. Drink your <laughs> bourbon. Drink your, you gotta do the Special Olympics for me. That's indicative of just a black, filthy soul. First question of the day, when it, as it relates to the, uh, the Schneiderman uh, issue, I mean, do you really think that no one knew about this kind of a scandal? This guy was a darling of the New York leftist elite, and his abuses are almost too numerous to count. Is it possible? Is it possible, Your Honor, that we never heard about it before this leak for the same reason that the front page CNN article covering this story today didn't showcase any of the facts that I'm about to fill you in on? Eric Schneiderman, so he resigned over the sexual assault allegations. The big thing yeah. is Schneiderman was a big vocal proponent of the hashtag Me Too movement. Uh, and he was bringing, I think he- And he's, he's a freak, he's a little bit of a freak. Yeah, he brought legal action against Harvey Weinstein in the state he of did. New York. Maybe in hindsight, maybe you just thought the Me Too campaign was just a boys club for men who also like to- Yes. Back oh. in and really whores. Look at it that way. Schneiderman is, he since apologized, by the way, so he's on the apology tour. He's wow. blaming circumstances like his alcoholism, a fatherless upbringing, but mostly bitches who don't know when to shut up. He thinks that's <laughs> the biggest reason why this got out. Wow. So here's some quotes from the original article, by the way, that you won't find on CNN piece. So, uh, Surprise. Selverit Nam, I hope I'm spelling it right, who's born in Sri Lanka, has dark skin, and she recalls that he started calling me his, quote, brown slave hmm. and demanding that I repeat that I was his property. Uh, okay. Yeah, that First wasn't before, CNN before, post at all. Yeah, this was not, okay. We have extreme abuse, we have violence, we have racism, we have sexism, we have hashtag me too. It'll be covered for about a day and a half before we move back to Trump right. and Russia. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, this guy- a Cocktail of chaos. Yes, and he claimed he was innocent until the recent, it, it took the leaked footage surfacing oh. recently. <laughs> All right, so a couple yeah, of things. That's pretty damning. It is pretty damning. Yeah. yeah. So he talked, in the article, he talked about uh, how he slaps women and how they usually like it. So a direct quote, right. you'd be surprised, he claimed. A lot of women like it. They don't always think that they like it, but then they do. And they ask for more. Well, here's, here's a little he said, she said. She said, quote, the slap started after we'd gotten to know each other. <laughs> it was at first as if he were testing me, then it got stronger and harder. And she said it wasn't consensual, this wasn't sexual play acting, this was abusive, demeaning, threatening behavior. <laughs> when Schneiderman was violent, he often made sexual demands. Look at she says, he was obsessed with having a threesome and said it was my job to find a woman. By the way, warning for people out there if you have kids in tonight's show, we have to be honest about the things that you're not reading. Sometimes he'd tell me to call a master and he'd slap me until I did it. It was my job to find a woman. He made these women go out and find him other women. This goes beyond role playing. He was actually forcing them to perform unpaid labor. He made them actual slaves. He was, they were a slave headhunting agency. Yeah, he was passing out 1099s in January. Yes. <laughs> until he realized he wasn't paying them. So it was a 501c3, it's uh, non-profit. Uh, non -profit. Take it out. Give it to you. He yeah. since come out in, in, in a tweet and basically said, look, uh, this was all during sex. This was just a role play acting, right? Yeah. They, they wanted me to slap him around yeah. a little bit. Till I, till I sent That's her your to, defense? Till I sent her to the Piggly Wiggly to retrieve my groceries, yeah. <laughs> as well as another sex slave. <laughs> exactly. He also took sedatives. He pushed this girl to drink. And he, he said to her, drink your bourbon turnip, which was his nickname for her. And I didn't know until Sven Computer <laughs> told me what turnip is. Apparently... Maybe it means retard. Yes. <laughs> what? Yes. Really? Know, yeah. Turn up like his, Urban Dictionary. Urban Dictionary is ah. for retard. Really? Yeah. Now, in his, in his defense, in his drunken stupor, he confused his root vegetables with his tubers. So that's well, what that's what he go. thought. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I always feel a little bit bad, right? And I've talked about where, where when people get divorced and then information comes out yeah. of, like, sexual preferences. It sometimes happens with a woman, but of the guy. I can't make heads or tails of the drink your bourbon turnip. <laughs> Drink this alcohol, you retard! Can you can you can you perform this this absolutely de de this this debasing sexual favor like you have Down syndrome? Can, is, this, is this the role playing we're gonna do? This isn't Princess Leia. This is your mom, baby. It's just terrible. This is absolutely terrible. After the former girlfriend, it says end of the relationship. She told several friends about the abuse. A number of them advised her to keep the story to herself, arguing that Schneiderman was too valuable as a politician. Wow. Uh, blah, 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 blah. She warned her that politics was tough and a personal business, and that she'd better be careful. <laughs> wow. Is this the DNC or the Corleone family? Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, and you know, and what's, just to give you an idea again? How do you think nobody knew about this? Yeah. 
No husband, no brother, no father wanted to kick a guy's ass when he force fed them bourbon, calling them a turnip? <laughs> Hashtag me too? <laughs> but we're okay with the actual rape culture as long as you check the right boxes. This is, I didn't, Sven yeah. Computer found this. Yes. So this is very recent as well, let alone Seth Meyers, which we'll get into. Samantha B oh. had him on her show. Now, one might say it was bordering on, on glowing. We have that power now, and with great power comes great responsibility. Oh my God, he's... Schneiderman, Schneiderman, does whatever a Schneider can, only he can save us all. You are fighting the good fight. Many fights. With women, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fighting turnips. It's like Super Mario 2. Just oh, I put them back in the ground and I oh, slap yeah. them and I make them drink bourbon. This is why House of Cards started to really suck because it could not keep up with reality. No, <laughs> it could not. And it just it just right. comes on watchable television when they try to outdo it. Well, I, again, they were they were carrying his water, right, Samantha B. And then just recently, he put up a tweet referencing her. And you have the overlay, Sven Computer. And then she said. Take this to F down, <laughs> which shows us, and she also took a screen, which shows us she has no, she has no comprehension of how Twitter and or social media works, nor copyright violations, apparently. Take this down. By the way, you can't delete my screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take this down, oh, this is even though he distributed it freely and publicly. Oh my gosh. I, you know, this is the thing I was talking about. This is a friend's dad. I remember when I was a kid, he, uh, I told you the story where when I said, oh, we, he asked for a woman for directions. I was 12. I said, oh, we're going to get lost. And he said, that's sexism. And I don't tolerate that in my car, Stephen, a, a Canadian guy. But, uh, you know, his son was actually stealing drugs from his drawers that he was stealing from the hospital. So that was the outrage. The outrage was over the sexist joke, which was funny for a 12 year old, mind you. Yeah. This is what the, it's, it's allowable from the left as long as you check the right boxes. It's not about letter of the law. It's not about spirit of the law. It's about letter of the law. They're legalists, only they don't even, they, sir, you're bringing your own laws. They have no idea what their own rules are. It's check the right boxes, Jimmy Kimmel. All right, we know you're a dirtbag. We know you're probably going to be next on this list. There's going to be a story coming out after hashtag me too, but we're going to give you a pass right now because you cried about health care. All right, Weinstein, we know what's going on, but you give a lot of money to the right cause. We're going to check that box. All right, Schneiderman. All right, Schumer. But you know what? Okay, we're going to check. You check the box, so we're gonna give you a pass. And I don't want to do the comparison game, okay? Remember, I got I, I was obviously upset with the grab by the pussy remark because I think that was indicative of a dirtbag who might abuse his power with a woman. And if that's my wife, when he was talking about other people's wives, I would be mad. So I had to be consistent. But now again, not can we understand where I'm coming from? Yes. Now that being said, while we're talking about checking boxes, the you know when you're famous, you can do whatever you, you grab by the pussy, okay? That is indicative of a fantasy that young boys, to one varying degree or another, have had at some point in their lives, in the sense that it's not unnatural for a boy to imagine throngs of naked women throwing themselves at him to the point that he could have his pick. I'm not saying that it's right, but I'm saying, okay, that's a perversion of the natural. Dirt baggy, yes, but not abnormal. Versus calling someone a fat, disgusting retard. No ticket, I give it to you, mongoloid. Drink your <laughs> bourbon. Drink your, you gotta do the Special Olympics for me. That's indicative of just a black, filthy soul. It is a horrible soul from the inside out. And I think represent of today's Democratic Party. Usually this is the point where I would tell you to subscribe or hit the notification bell up there because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot on YouTube. But if you haven't signed up now at lotterwithcreditor.com slash mug club for all the daily content to support us, there's probably, there's not a pitch I can make here that'll work. So let me just tell you this. I have a cat in my basement right now. If you don't subscribe at lotterwithcreditor.com slash mug club to support this content, I am going to kill him. If you don't subscribe, this cat in my basement will die.